In his first year with the Rams, Larry Eustachie led a team heavy with seniors to 26 wins, the most in school history. Now filling all five starting spots is the challenge he faces this season. And coach, thanks for joining us. First, let me ask you, is this as wide open a competition for the starting lineup that you've seen in a while? Yeah, I think it is. You know, but I, I was just thinking as you were t as being introduced that the last time I did a TV show out of Chicago, Tim Floyd was the head coach of the Bulls and Fred Hoiberg was a player and I was the third guy. So look at this right here. That looks a little thin, doesn't it? I'm, I'm getting old. But I think the conference is, I think our team is, I have no idea, you know, who's going to play, where, where they're going to play. We lost a lot as much as anybody probably in the country. Coach, love your honesty, first of all. Uh, you know, with six new eligible players joining seven returners, I mean, how are practices and coaches' meetings different than a year ago when you really knew what you had? Well, it, they're, they're a lot easier. Last year was probably the toughest assignment I had as a head coach. I mean, think about it. Expectations were, were, were too high, and, and I thought we met them and overcame them. Um, uh, this year, I'm sitting on a new eight-year contract with expectations too low, probably. So it's more relaxing in those meetings, to be honest with you. Well, that's good, because relaxing uh, equals uh, results, hopefully, on the floor. Now, you've had veteran teams. You've had young teams over the course of your career. Still have won at least 19 games in six of your last seven seasons as a head coach. Can your team meet or exceed what the team did last year? Can they do it this year? No, I mean, I, I mean, last year was record breaking. We we had a, a, I think a couple professionals on that team. One that was drafted in the second round. Uh, you know, this year we have our, our, our leading scorer from last year's team is, is six points. Daniel Bejarano averaged six points. So to ask, can we match or our, our goal is always to win the conference championship? I will tell you this, that that. You know, we're down to nine guys. We took a big hit with Jesse Carr, blowing out his ACL almost a year from when he blew it out last year. We're sitting out three Division One transfers, so we have nine players. If they hold up, it, it's as high as character as last year's team, which was off the charts. You know, we have a chance to beat teams that are probably bigger, stronger, older, a little better than us uh, because we have high, high character. Coach, thanks again for taking some time with us. Best of luck this season and some great insight there from Colorado Springs. Anytime. Thank you.